Shout out to all the inner lights out there. It's your brother Junus, aka Sage and Blue. And now it's to signs and numbers. Please subscribe, like the page, and definitely share with others. So today we're gonna to talk about Aquarius born on the eighth. As an Aquarius born on the eighth, know for 2024, certain things to be mindful of that just be careful of what you say or what you may think or do because out of any given moment, things could go left out of nowhere and it could be very unexpected. Also be mindful of any hidden enemies out there that might be lurking, you know, there might be somebody out there that's not too fond of you and might not want the best for you. So there's something to be mindful of as an Aquarius born on the eighth. On the other aspect though, do keep in mind though, the eight energy does complement you and other eights out there because when you see the year 2024, the two plus a zero plus a two plus the four, it equals eight and you're an eight vibration. So many aspects, if you're doing what you need to do and you're being upright, you know, in justice with the Lord, things will fall into place and you're gonna realize if anybody has something towards you, it's gonna most, more likely affect them and bounce off of you. But however though, if you're not upright, then the consequences could fall on your lap. So just something to be mindful of. You know, if you're a person out there that's born on the eighth this year, you're gonna see that business is gonna flourish, it's gonna complement your money. You know, especially as somebody who's an Aquarius born on the eighth, you're probably an individual out there who might be in charge of an organization or have your own business managing other people. So just something to be mindful of, if you are utilizing money from a grand scale, you may benefit greatly this year for the year 2024. So just be mindful though of the other aspects and not become egotistical so things don't just go left. Um, like that I was saying before, as somebody born on the eighth, as an Aquarius, you're business oriented, you know, you could be very different, you know, if your idea is original almost, because you gotta see like the eight energy, it derives from the four energy, and four plus four is eight, and you know, already four is already visionary. So when you amplify it to the eight energy, this vision comes to life, especially when it comes to business. So this something to be mindful of, and you're already an Aquarius, right? I already talked about the four in the vision, the four is a source of Uranus, and you as an Aquarius, you're governed by the planet Uranus as well. So it just definitely complements you as a person born on the eighth. So business is definitely something to be mindful of getting into in some type of kind of corporation, but you'll realize that you're gonna benefit a lot. And over time, you're gonna become successful. People are gonna admire you, respect you, your judgment of character is going to come to life when it comes to certain individuals as somebody born on the eighth. But you have to be careful though with your energy to not be so bossy. You see what I'm saying? Or kind of like you could, you get, you could pretty much got to be bossy or even like a tyranny energy where you just feel like, yo, it's my way or the highway kind of energy. So because of this, you don't really work well with other people. So. Not in the sense like you don't want to like have a partner, you know what I'm saying? You want more than likely have control of it because the depth of your nature is so advanced anyway and you have very deep vision and you can kind of see how everything's organized. So just to have somebody there on your side as a partner, there might be some type of clashing unless you would encounter somebody more than 14, but we'll talk about that another time. So this is something to be mindful of your particular energy as an individual born on the eighth because uh, what it is is that you gotta realize when the eight, when you flip it like this, it represents the infinite. So for you, you know the good and the bad automatically. So sometimes people born to eight have the duality of both where they don't understand the spiritual aspect of things and the material aspect and they're able to balance it and manifest it with this perfect harmony. And if you look at the eight like this, it's almost like an eye, right? It's like an eye looking right at you. So they have very deep vision, even though certain things that might not be spoken upon, but they know it even if they won't say anything. And the things that they will speak upon is kind of just to uh, put things in order, I would say, you know, because you guys have a discipline about you as an Aquarius. So it's just something to be mindful of of your particular dynamic. I would say also as well, um, you are a person who is extremely family oriented and you might have a huge family. However, though, you may realize through your experiences while we are younger, it might have been somebody that you would love, you would have loved to have been close to, probably a parent or something like that, but somebody definitely in life that you yearn to be close to, but they just weren't there for you. So there are just certain things that you just had to learn on your own. 
as an Aquarius born on the eighth, you're probably the most mature one out amongst your peers. You know, even around your siblings, if you have some siblings out there, which you probably do, you know, like I was saying, you guys have a big family, but you realize you definitely were the mature one and you were ahead of your time and even adults probably looked at you for advice, you know, like you could hold your own, especially already as an Aquarius, and Aquarius know how to be sociable. So it's just something to be mindful of, of your particular energy. Um, you attract money very easily. You know how it works. You know how to accumulate it. Like I was saying before, if like a person is in a struggle, you could be that person that could help them to set their business and know exactly how to go about. And then for them, for them, for them to be successful, if you choose to play that role as a leader. You gotta be careful with a certain aspect within you because there's parts about you like, um, I would say like, although like you could reap great benefits and things could be very fortunate in your life, you have to kind of be careful though at the same time to not fall into vicious cycles. Cause if you fall into certain patterns that are negative, you realize that you're gonna receive a karma rather quickly and strongly. So just something to be mindful of. And you gotta do your best and not allow the ego to get the best of you. Cause there is an aspect about you that could be very egotistical. You know what I mean? And if something said to you, you know, like you may come back and like we butt and just say something right back. So there are certain things that you just don't like. But overall though, you're a person that's um, pretty solid and practical and just know how things work and have a certain confidence about you that's positive and how you move it through life. So you just things to be mindful of. As Something I want to say about that. No, I'll keep it there for now. It's definitely other things I I like to say, but uh, that's a good enough information as a course born the eighth. Um, so we're gonna to get to compatibilities. So if your particular dynamic as somebody born on the eighth, know that you're naturally gonna be compatible with air signs like Libras or also Gemini's. But you're also gonna realize you may be compatible with fire signs, which are Sagittarius, Leos, and Aries. But you're going to realize because you're born on the 8th of the month and that 8 energy is associated with Saturn, Capricorn energy, there might be a Capricorn in your life that plays a significant role with you. Or you're going to see a Cancer in your life that you're close with. So there's something mindful of because you're born on the 8th. And this also means with that air quality, but having that 8 principle Earth associated with Capricorn, there may be other earth and water signs too that play a strong role in your life, but definitely Capricorn being one of them and cancers, you know? So just something to be mindful for and look out because you could take advantage of that energy and they help to develop you to the particular person you are right now in this moment. Also as well, you gotta realize that this energy, the eight vibration falls within the mental plane. So because it falls within the mental plane, the mental plane has these numbers in, involved in it, the two, the five, and the eight. So this means within your lifetime, you're gonna bump into two energies. So what do I mean by two energies? You may bump into somebody born on the second of the month, the 20th of the month, the 11th of the month, for example. Or you may bump into somebody that's born on the, fifth, the 14th of the month, the 5th of the month, or the 23rd of the month. Those are five vibrations. Or somebody born the 8th like you, somebody born the 17th or 26th of the month. So this is something to be mindful of that it's just how the universe constructs it, so there's little to no chaos within your life. But you may realize that you may know somebody who has, um, born, sorry, you may know somebody that's born on the fourth of the month as well, because like I was saying, four plus four equals eight, or you may know somebody that's born on the 16th of the month, because eight plus eight equals 16, so the 16 is around from the eight energy. So this is something that's not uncommon with your vibration, and you gotta realize you're born on two eight, and two times eight is 16, so you know what I'm saying? So, so you may attract that energy very strongly in your life. Also as well, we're gonna see with your particular dynamic, um, on a spiritual level, you're gonna have deep, profound connection if you were ever to encounter anybody born on the 11th of the month. But this could also go for like, um, I say an 11 because you know, that 11 falls into that two vibration, but it, it's just something that's very powerful and profound and sometimes uncommon, but this could be like a very powerful connection with you as far as love goes. But this could also go for somebody born the 29th, you know, the two plus the nine um, equals 11, and that energy could synchronize with your eight vibration, bringing this 19 energy to the forefront. So this is something to just be mindful of. 
also you can connect you can connect well with somebody born on the 14th of the month that's a very powerful profound energy with your vibration and on top of that it falls within the spiritual the mental plane so it complements you in both ways and you'll see as well that you're going to click well with somebody that's born on the 25th of the month which is very profound and powerful because we already talked about the 258 energy right so if you meet somebody born the 25th of the month it kind of completes that cipher for you so there's going to be a profound connection but if you look at another aspect put you in the game 25 plus 8 is 33. so these are things to be mindful of with your vibration and this is something that's going to bring you to a higher level on a spiritual level you know it could be the opposite sex it could be a parent or grandparent but know if you meet people, any individual born from these three particular birthdays, it could be very profound. All right, brothers and sisters, we're going to keep it there for now. It's your brother Junus, a.k.a. Sag and Blue. Hope you enjoyed the content, definitely. Stay tuned for more. And remember, guys, always, let your light shine. Junus.